Ariel Salk live outside the library where there was so much damage. And Ariel, you just got a new look. Yeah, absolutely. And I, we just got word from PSU President Cut, who says it looks like the library will not be back open until the next fall. That being said, it's night and day out here. I'm amazed by how much cleanup has happened from power washing the benches to the walls. Crews have been working hard cleaning up after the protesters on campus. If you are watching Thursday around 5 p.m., the police left their post and the protesters knocked down the metal fence surrounding the li library before reoccupying the building. Now that metal fence is back up. Dennis Cody is a grad student at Harvard doing research here in Portland. He relies on this library to work on his research on gentrification in Portland. There's books here and resources that aren't available online or at Harvard's libraries, so the books only exist at that library. Crews are putting up plywood around the perimeter to secure the area. Looking through the window, we can still see quite a bit of graffiti inside, and I just spoke to a police officer who just told me it's a disaster in there. But that being said, we've been out here all day, and things have seemingly gone back to normal. I've seen friends getting coffee, walking their dogs, eating lunch. So it really goes to show you what a difference one day can make. Reporting live at PSU, Ariel Salk. Coin six news. Yeah, 24 hours ago, completely different yes. situation mm -hmm. unfolding out there. You were there, Ariel, some great reporting. Thanks so much.